Wow, what a week it's been. <laughs> it has not stopped raining. In fact, it hasn't stopped raining for the last two weeks. The first week we were here, um, the second week we went home just because we had enough and it has been non-stop. There's floods all across the UK, which I'm sure people in the UK will have um, had to deal with themselves, but we've had landslides near our house and things. Not near our house, but in that area. Um, and lots of road closures and stuff like that. So, um, but the good thing is, got back to the boat and it is bone dry. <laughs> so we have finally stopped the water coming in, um, which is great news. So what I'm doing today, I carry on with the pilot house. I did start it um, a couple of weeks back, but then the, the heavens opened and it started raining. So we'll try again. Um, I'm gonna bash off the worst of the scale here. Um, and then I'll go over it with the turku. Ideally, I'd use the needle gun, but I need to order some new fittings for the compressor. The needle gun's great, but nothing beats a bit of brute force either. Just have to be careful not to accidentally wallop the windows. So I'm just going to go over um, the bare metal with this and then I will sand um, this to the right surface. I'm going to use the double. Um, I could do with a single one to be honest. Um, I need to order one of those but it just it's a bit easier to get under the lip that's the bit that I'm struggling with um, it's just under this lip here so I'm going to try it with the double and see if that's a bit easier back all the rest, um, terracooed it, sanded it with, um, well sanded it with this which is like 24 grit or something um, and then terracooed it. Um, now I'm just gonna sand the the paintwork that's not coming off and um, to get that back, key that back to a nice surface to paint on. side of the pilot house is sanded and prepped ready for painting. Um, you will notice that I haven't gone right down behind the um, track on the deck um, and I haven't done the aft window um, because they're two separate projects on their own so what I've discovered doing this is it's just a lot easier to choose a tiny project, the wind's picking up now so hopefully you can hear me, to choose a smaller project not a tiny one um, and try and achieve that and then sort of box them off into little areas.
I'm really hoping I managed to catch that. Um, painted the pilot house, or well, one side of it. Um, but when I set up the GoPro, I came up and down and set it up about five times. Um, and I think, I think it was pointing in the right direction. But from the boat, it didn't quite look like it. And every time I adjusted it, it didn't look right. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you got to see that, not just the bottom of the boat. <laughs> One day in the Caribbean, I'll be looking out over that. Yeah. <laughs> that is us done for the day. Um, we have got these. We've got the cushions, uh, the backs from the saloon, just in case I get bored, um, I can make some cushion covers because the the person that we bought the boat off was very kind and gave us lots of fabric um, to match the stuff that's already been done in the forepeak. So we've got a rush home though. Haven't we? Because um, the van has gone in for MOT and it's failed and there's a few bits that needs doing. So we've got to rush home and get Dad from work, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. But all in all, a fairly productive day. I managed to do the starboard side of the pilot house. Um, there was a bit, the, the lip that I was telling you about earlier. Um, I think I've got all the scale off um, and I've terracooed the life out of it. But I think there might be a chance that we, we might have to just shot blast under that under that lip because I don't think I've managed to do it well enough. Um, but the rest of it's absolutely fine. Just have a quick look. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Jack. So there you go. Um, that's one side of the pilot house painted. Right, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go and get Dad. getting dad from work and there's a parcel on the doorstep and it's for me that's cool i can drink some old ray in this what does it say it says this is jack's mug and Sailing River song anytime. Ah, I like this. That's lovely. You can drink some Earl Grey in this. <laughs> Thank you very much. I absolutely love it. And also go and check out the channel Sailing River Song on YouTube. Mm. I'm going to get some Earl Grey. I was about to put the box in the recycling when I noticed this and I found this and a couple of stickers in it. Cute. I wonder what it says. Hey Jack, we hope everything is great with you all. This is special for you. Do not let mum or dad use this. Have a great day and have something in the mud. Sailing River Song, Captain Anders and Navigator Anka. Thank you. And we're just having a cup of tea down at the beach before we start work for the day. They forgot to give Jack milk, so he's got a black tea, but he's enjoying it. A bit. A bit. <laughs> but he's looking for a fossil that we found before oh, in wow. the wall. Yeah, it's a fossilised prawn, I think. <laughs> a fossilised prawn. It looks quite nice out there at the moment, but... Um, weather is predicted really really windy this afternoon what is it does anyone know that's what it looks like yeah. i'm picking up for a small point. not a hundred percent sure what it is, but we will find out. But do you know anyone out there? <laughs> Please comment. It's big boys. 
That was commissioned. Portside Fowl Marker Boy was donated by Steneline in 1992. So, just arrived at the boatyard, um, ready to do some work, but unfortunately, the car seems to be juddering, it seems to be misfiring. Um, I think it's an electrical fault, a sensor or something, but my dear friend Google has told me to check the spark plugs because we've had lots of rain and lots of water. Um, so I'm gonna have a quick look under the bonnet and have a look at that. And yeah, so what used to be under here was a key, but now you have to <laughs> pull this out. Yay! These are the spark plug. Um, it's very important to put them back in the same order. So I'm only going to take one at a time. Oh, that looks wet. I think that might be the problem. There's lots of water in the reservoir where the spark plugs are, and there shouldn't be any water in there. So I'm going to clear all the leaves that have got caught around the bonnet. Um, there's lots of water sitting on the top of that thing manifoldy thing not sure what it is um but so i'm going to clear all that up get something a rag in there to dry all the water up and dry the ends of the spark plugs but it's just absolutely started pouring it down so i'm gonna put that spark plug back in shut the bonnet and go in the boat and come back to that when it stops Ugh. you need to turn it left once Right, right, right. So what I'm gonna do, you're a bit low down there, is pop this, keep this into the thingy, the um the spark plug hole and just absorb the water. So that's soaking wet. And there shouldn't be any water in there. Can we get a Tesla? Can we get a Tesla? No. budget for a Tesla. Tesla, if you'd like to sponsor us until we go off sailing, give us a car. That would be amazing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, not completely sure. If they Jack would. wants a Tesla. <laughs> How many plugs are there? Four. Four. Has the water been getting in? Well, the seals obviously aren't good enough and there's just been so much rain, hasn't there? So how did we do? Oh, how did oh, you do? Water's out. My back now hurts. Um, but I'm going to start the car and see how it sounds. Let's hope it doesn't go jumpy car. Jumpy car, yeah. Jumpy car, scary car. <laughs> but it's all right. We fixed it. I think we fixed it. Did you? Did you pull the clutch thing? I know how to park the car, Jack. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like, it sounds like we fixed it. So let's see what it's like on the drive home. But Jack now knows where your spark plugs are. Yeah, click it in that little bit. Yes. Yeah. Ah, well done. Watch your fingers, go right at the front. Lower it down gently and then drop it at the last bit. It's a little bit wet around the boat. Too bad. As do you remember if you've watched a few episodes back, um Mum and Dad made some mock up seating, but we've decided to change it around because it didn't really work well. So Jack is sat on not it won't be the original like the, the final one. But Jack is set, sat on a bar stool, which swivels round to steer the wheel. So um, I think this is probably the layout that we're going to end up going for. We've got L-shape seating. There'll be a raised floor. Yeah, so there, little L-shape. And then these boxes would be the raised floor, which would actually come out to this pole here. 
raining, so where should I go? Then I'm just going to um, take these off, this off, which has been supporting this one, and made a right mess with the sticker, sticks all, sticker flex type thing, but it doesn't matter. Ow! Got my finger. Oops, sorry. So I just want to say a massive thank you so much to one of our followers, you know who you are, um, that bought all the pink insulation. Um, it's a closed cell XPS board um, and we've got enough to do the whole boat or at least the stuff that we can get to and do. So that's that's amazing. Just we can't thank you enough for your generosity. Yeah, thank you. Really good. I will cut this outside. I'm not going to do it all in this tiny space. So I found um, that a bread knife is the best because you can just get out. My glare fixed it. So I retract that statement. The bread knife is absolutely useless. You can score whatever you can um, a line through it, then you can snap it. You can snap a nice, clean, straight line. But if there's bits like this. I just actually use the jigsaw in there, but it just makes a bit of a mess. Hopefully, this just fits in. It probably won't. Shave a little bit off the edge here and then cut the right angle for the top. That top one is in. This one here I'm going to have to do in two sections just because of the shape of the hole. like a king of martial arts. So that's done. Um, what we'll do once we're ready, we'll just seal up all those little gaps with the um, closed cell spray foam. So just before we finish the episode, guys, we wanted to show you our new t-shirts. Uh, with the amazing artwork by Amanda Jackson. Jackson. Amanda Jackson, so you can have a look in the description. We've got a link to her website so you can see more of her work. And if you click the other link in the description, it'll take you to our online shop where we've got t-shirts and mugs. Legs. And what else are we gonna have? We can have beanies, sweatshirts, all of the goody stuff. Yeah, and lots of other good stuff uh, coming up. And don't forget, you can also, uh, if you want to buy a copy of my album, just send us an email to turner.andy at hotmail.com. In the meantime, thanks very, very much for watching. I hope you have a great week now. Yeah, so Goodbye. click like and subscribe and leave us a comment and all that good stuff. Bye. Bye. See you next time.